On the streets of Winnipeg, social workers say the legalization of recreational pot is taking much needed resources away from the ongoing meth crisis. The police are stretched for sure because they're dealing with the meth, but they're also needing to deal with the government's direction on making sure that the uh, illegal sale of cannabis is shut down. But many cities like Winnipeg aren't getting the cash promised by the federal and provincial governments and are forced to pay for things like extra police, training and bylaw enforcement with their own money. In pot shops like these, an excise tax is collected on sales. The federal government keeps 25%, giving 75% to the provinces, with the expectation that the provinces hand over 25% to the municipalities. Winnipeg estimates pot legalization will cost the city $3.5 million for 2018-2019. But the Manitoba government has refused to help, saying it isn't clear there will be any net revenue for the province. I mean, there, there are lessons to be learned from tobacco and from alcohol. We've seen uh, mostly provincial governments really cash in uh, for decades on, uh, on those two uh, substances. And we see, you know, history is going to repeat itself once again. Further west, Calgary has the highest concentration of pot shops in the country, with 24. The city says it'll cost more than $10 million over two years, but the province will only pony up $3.8 million. They claim, well, we don't know what the costs are, so we can't give up any of the excise tax to the cities because we don't know what our costs are. Well, here's the thing. I know what my costs are. They're really high. The Federation of Canadian Municipalities has raised the funding issue with a federal finance minister. It's up to the provinces at this point to, uh, to step up to what they committed to uh, during those negotiations. Municipalities say without more money, legalization of pot will have side effects, including increased property taxes. Hannah Thibodeau, CBC News, Ottawa.